I'm not sure if this will work. I'll need to try out. Turn that. Yeah, so this lock, see what happens. It's a heavy steel lock, so we'll see how it is going to perform. I don't know what I'm doing for the mains, what is that? The mains are doing about 40 amps. It's bloody hot. Radiation is unbelievable on this bloody thing. Locker's heater. Try again. Now adjust device. Fourteen hundred ampere, one thousand four hundred. See, we can melt this lock. The heat is tremendous. You need to almost hold it in a vice grip or some device. Oh, it's hot. Thirteen hundred ampere. A lot of heat. Very inefficient heater. Have a look at this. Glowing, glowing, glowing. It's very hot. Huh? Yeah, safety helmet just in case. Pretty tough. Oh, I bet he helped the heat, it's amazing. These are heavy duty locks. I'm not saying I'm gonna melt this with uh, 1200 ampere. My hands are getting hot, even with the big gloves. Amazing how much heat is generated here. Ah, it's too 
Oh, too bloody old fuck. Oh, it's amazing. There's so much heat generated on this device, so the melt flipping and all, because not that easy. Look at the steam. These are heavy duty locks, believe you me. Where's a try anyway? The little setup is pretty straightforward. So I look mill jumpers, copper blades at the end. Um, I don't want to bend the transformer out, which is rated technically for 1600 ampere for one minute, 800 ampere two minutes, and I can smell varnish, so I just abandon this. I just don't want to cook this device here, but uh, yeah. It's still an interesting experiment to try out, and uh, these locks are heavy. The uh, rasp is about one centimeter thick. Probably when I put the contacts closer together, it may create a bit more heat and burn. But uh, I just want to get the glow of the rasp, and in that part, I succeeded anyway. Sweet. Have a nice day. Road Alco two zero zero seven. Now the hasp is 8mm thick here. It's just a close up shot here. Hope you guys can see it. The start reading was 472.8 and it's finished at 473.05. So 250 watt hours.